We all want our organizations to succeed, but how can our stakeholders be assured that they will? COSO has an answer. This video is a short and broad overview of the meaning of COSO. Keep the themes mentioned here in mind as you try to make sense of the more detailed course materials. COSO stands for the Committee of Sponsoring Organizations of the Treadway Commission. COSO is an internal control framework. Perhaps it'd be right to say that it is the internal control framework from which other frameworks were built. Understanding COSO is important for understanding IT audit. IT auditing could be said to begin with the notions captured in COSO. IT audit is all about assessing whether or not an organization's systems can be expected to reliably contribute to organizational success. Every part of an IT audit hinges on understanding related risks. Organizations succeed when they meet their objectives, and trying to succeed means taking risks. COSO provides a framework to make it more likely that objectives will be achieved despite the risk. Paraphrasing what a manager might say to employees about internal control, internal control is something we all do to make sure we succeed. From the board of directors on down, we want to do what we can to make sure that our operations achieve our goals, our financial reporting is accurate and meaningful, and that we meet our legal and regulatory responsibilities. It's one thing to do the right thing, and another to try to make sure you are doing the right thing. Don't go crazy, but let's make sure we systematically avoid things we know can go wrong. Organizations do things. That's operations. We hope we succeed. Maybe that means profit. Maybe that means achieving a social good. Or maybe it's something else. In any case, we have a set of objectives in mind. The COSO approach is a meta approach. We have control processes that manage controls that ensure effective operations. To succeed over time, we need to be organized. We need to make policies, practices, and procedures that help us avoid known pitfalls. We call those things controls. Controls are not so much things we do to succeed as they are things we do to try to make sure we will do the things we need to do to succeed. Did you catch all that? In a class, for example, the key to success is to have students study, ask questions as needed, and learn. That's operations. But if we just left it at that, not much learning would actually take place. The college requires syllabi and course plans to shape and guide studying, and the college carefully screens instructors to make sure they can do the job. Those things are like controls. Theoretically, we might do the right thing without them, but likely we wouldn't. Surprisingly, COSO is not about controls. It's about processes that design, implement, and ensure the effective operation of controls. Control processes are meta. What do we do over time to make sure that we will have the right kinds of controls in place? What will we do to make sure those controls are effective? What will we do to make sure people follow through on their control responsibilities? Control processes address those questions and calls out what is important if control processes are to be successful. COSO is expressed in three layered elements, components with principles and principles with points of focus. The five components are the foundations or pillars of solid internal control. The 17 principles provide insight into the intent of the components and the 77 points of focus identify specific things done or accomplished when an organization has a solid system of internal control processes. Together, they help us see the big picture while also providing enough detail to be useful and to help auditors systematically validate control process effectiveness. Auditors will also spend a lot of time checking on the effectiveness of individual controls but the core ideas from COSO will inform how those audits are conducted. For example, 
COSO emphasizes the control environment. If people don't see that management is serious about controls, they won't give them due attention. COSO emphasizes risk assessment. We want to pay for controls that matter. COSO emphasizes that good controls can only happen when the right information is communicated to the right people. And COSO emphasizes that we need to monitor the effectiveness of controls and follow up when they fall short. These notions all support activities that facilitate the design and implementation of effective controls. So that was just a short introduction into the COSO framework. We'll cover all that and far more in other class materials. Dig in, because when we learn, we win.